What's going on boys and girls? What's up world? Austin John plays here and today we're going to be talking about a new Nintendo Switch, not the lights, just a new regular full-size Nintendo Switch, a new dock, new Joy-Cons, and Luigi's Mansion 3 gets a release date. Also just a friendly reminder, we're still doing a giveaway for a Nintendo Switch and a copy of Pokemon Sword and Shield or Link's Awakening. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for more info. We're doing those till we hit a milli or 2020, whichever comes first. That last little bit is just kind of snuck in there. In the middle of recording this, they announced that Luigi's Mansion is officially coming out on a Halloween, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool if you ask me. This morning at 8 a.m., we got a couple of big announcements coming from Nintendo. The first one is we have brand new Joy-Con colors. We're going to be having non-neon blue and neon purple and neon orange. That neon yellow that you see, that already exists. That was uh, one of the new colors for arms. It didn't sell great, or it did, I have no idea. Now they're bundling it with a non-neon blue, so three of those four are brand new colors, which is pretty neat. Something about that orange and purple is just reminding me of like, something about it. Time for the big news though. Nintendo is officially releasing a new model of the Nintendo Switch. Now, this is something that has been going around for quite a while now as far as Switch firmware 5.0 is support for three new hardware lines, one with the original Tegra 210 and two for the new Tegra 214 Mariko. A lot of people thought that's going to be in the Switch Lite. That's how it's going to get so fantastic battery. And now it's coming to the full Nintendo Switch. And what does that mean for you, that means that the original Nintendo Switch has estimated two and a half to six and a half hours of battery life, with Breath of the Wild being three hours, and the new Nintendo Switch, new model with longer battery life, is four and a half to nine hours, with Breath of the Wild being about five and a half, so just shy of double the battery life. It did seem suspicious how the Switch Lite, which is a cheaper model, was boasted to have better battery life than the current model Nintendo Switch. So now they're going to be using this same, much more power efficient chip in the Switch Lite, also in the new Nintendo Switch. And vis a vis get around the whole Tegra X1 Nintendo Switches that could be hacked. Now, just so you are super duper perfectly clear, this is not the Nintendo Switch Pro. This is going to be a very subtle, very quiet update to their line. This just means that the new model that they're going to be putting out has this new chip. Remember, like a month ago when I said that they're moving production to Southeast Asia and they have two Switch models that are they're working on? One may be the light and one may be an updated version of the Nintendo Switch. One is said to have a similar form factor to the existing model, but feature better components. That's very vague. With the other expected to have a different look and lower specs that make it less expensive. But it's not going to be the Pro. But do I feel as though we're going to get a Pro model right out the gate? One that's much more powerful and or bigger, I don't think that's we're going to see that immediately. It would make a lot more sense from a business perspective to come out with the Switch Mini first. Again, I love how on that video everyone's like, this is clickbait. I'm like, no, it's not. This is what's happening and boom, here it finally is. The MSRP on these is going to be the same as it was previously. We're only seeing the Japanese website right now. We can assume that going forward they're going to be using this new chip in all of the models because, well, it costs less to use this same one model of chip in all of your devices. It's just cheaper that way. Instead of having a stock two and then one run short, you don't need to worry about it. You don't need to think about it. At a certain point in time, if you buy a Nintendo Switch, it's gonna all be this new extended battery life Nintendo Switch, which is neat. I don't use my Nintendo Switch a lot in handheld mode, but when I do, I usually have battery packs not too far by, so it isn't too much of an inconvenience for me. You on the other hand may play a lot in handheld and or tabletop mode, and this new news of it being twice the battery life just about is much better for you. Also, there is a new Dragon Quest XI S Lotto Edition. That's the Google Translate. Uh, it's basically a new Dragon Quest XI Switch dock. We don't know if it's going to be a new Switch or anything, or if it's just a dock. 
So if for some reason you were holding off on buying a Nintendo Switch, boom, now you can get one with better battery life. Is this going to make a big difference in the future? I don't think so. Well, I'm thinking like 10, 15 years from now, they're going to treat this the same way that they treated Game Boy SPs with the 101 screen and the 001 and the 001 screen, those boys right there. It might be treated like that, but I don't think so because it's just a battery it's just a battery life we don't have any confirmation as far as improved performance or anything else so we'll see if this is in any way more powerful then i'll be sure to update you guys if you're going to be getting the same performance in handheld mode as you do in dock mode that would be nice but not yet confirmed all it's really boasting is that it has a better battery life now you may ask should this in any way deter you from buying a nintendo switch today no no it shouldn't i mean anytime that you're playing more than three hours in handheld mode, you're near somewhat of a power source. If you're in an airplane, a lot of them have an actual charger right there. If you're in the car, you have access to power right there. If you're in a train, I don't know what trains have. I've never taken a train. I assume they have outlets or something because trains. So if you're ever in a situation that you're gonna be playing your Nintendo Switch in handheld mode for more than three hours, chances are you have access to power or you can plan ahead to bring a battery pack with you. I, for one, am not trading in any of my Nintendo Switches for this updated version with slightly better battery life. Well, double battery life, but I, it doesn't affect me at all. I'm not doing anything about it. I am gonna be trading in one of my Nintendo Switches for $200 of credit over at uh, GameStop so I could pick up one of the switches at, you know, equal charge. Because I want to know your thoughts on this new longer battery life Nintendo Switch. Leave a comment down below. We are still doing a giveaway for a Nintendo Switch and a copy of Pokemon Sword and Shield or Link's Awakening. Be sure to check the link down below. Until next time, Austin John out.